Hello and welcome to Mr. Venergy. This reading is going to be for my lovely Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and it's Cross Watchers if it fits. I don't worry about that too much. Um, we're going to get started. Happy holidays to you lovely Leos. Happy 2022. We made it, all right? Another year we here. Grateful, okay, that we can see another year, even though it's been a little cray-cray, okay? It's been a little cray-cray the last couple years, but hey, we made it, y'all. So, like I said, it's going to be for my Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and his Cross Watchers for the time frame. Weekly reading for the time frame of January 3rd through January 9th, I believe. Okay. Make sure you guys hit that like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when I'm dropping another video, guys. Okay. Um, also, if you would like a personal reading, reach out to me at MrVenergy.com. This site is for my, um, I mean, the email is for my in-depth readings, my longer readings, video Skypes, uh, video recordings, longer phone sessions. Reach out to me on there. If you want something short, quick clarity, reach out to me on Wizio. Uh, all that information will be in the description box below, okay? So, we're going to get started here. Also, for anyone that wants to send any donations, because you guys have been showing out lately, my cash app is in the description box below as well. It's just Mr. Energy. Okay. Alrighty. I think that's everything. Got our feelings card. Something is okay. This is missing. Oh, shoot. Sorry, guys. All right, let's get it. Okay, so in the feelings department, we have blame and guilt came out, okay? That's so crazy because that was in the daily Wusa. And uh, I definitely shuffled really good. Go with the flow. We get this so much. Choose a new direction. Never-ending story. Privileged lady journey. Material harvest and fertility it's safe for you to love and flirt. We got our little rude cards here. We got surrender with chaser. Rebel. Okay, so let's get it cracking, okay? All right, guys. Okay, Leo. Um, I feel like something was probably a sexual union or, like I said, you guys never had a really defined line of the relationship, okay? You were just going with the flow, okay? See, you know how you just say go with the flow? I feel like in this situation, you were going with the flow. There weren't really many boundaries. There weren't really many official lines, okay? Like, we're together, anniversary. It wasn't any of that. I think you guys were just fucking pretty much and, you know, ended up together in some type of uh, situation. -ship. That's what I was thinking of. We have sexual un union. Honor the place in one another where you are. Yeah, I feel like it was a uh, sexual union. And things were just going with the flow. Uh, we have a life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life, okay? Um, and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow again. Wow, you will be surprised where it leads. Look, go with the flow. And this card also says, go with the flow down there. Crazy, right? So I feel like somebody was going with the flow or you might need to go with the flow. I feel like it's more of the situation was more go with the flow type of things. Like no defined lines, no defined relationship. But we'll see if you need to go with the flow with this in, in, in its entirety. So for the feelings, we have blame and guilt. And we have choosing new direction and never ending story. Okay. Um, something is cyclical, of course, with never ending story. Somebody might want to just, you know, change directions. This was sexual. Somebody might want something more intense, okay? You could be blaming somebody and they could feel guilty. You could be saying, like, look, we've been together forever, you know. You just want to me. Uh, you just want to have sex. Um, this is never ending. We never know where we're going. 
uh, where are we going? Somebody could be asked, where are we going? What is the direction of this? Um, but I also feel like you might need to um, choose a new direction because the situation is cyclical, okay? I feel like you guys are playing the blame game, okay? You could have blamed somebody, but they do feel guilty, okay? But somebody could feel uh, uh, guilty for blaming you. Some of you guys could have a children with this per ch child with this person, or it could have... Um, for some, it could have been monetary reasons instead of the sexual union. Maybe this, this connection helped your money grow or they had money. So you guys, with your money combined, it was more money. But here we go again with the flirt card. Uh, this person was like, always all in your video. My mom used to always say that. That means all up in your Kool-Aid, all up in your business, all up in your goddamn face. Okay? Flirt. And they were like, yeah, you know, it's safe for you. To we good. We don't need to have no defined lines, male or female. You know, let's just go with the flow. But they want to have sex, though. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, they want to have sex, though. All right. So, you could have felt like you were chasing this person or chasing a commitment all this time or whatever the case is. But I feel like you surrender now. Somebody surrendering to that shit. I won't be chasing your ass no more. If you can't give me a fine, a defined line of who we are, what we are, what is we, you know? Okay. I hear that commercial when they were like, what are we? I mean, that meme... We are farmers. Dun, 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 dun. It's like, we're not together, but we are farmers. You saw that commercial? It's funny. So, yeah, this person play a lot. Or they don't take the connection serious. Like, they know. They're guilty because you blame them. They know what they've done wrong. They know that they're not giving you what you want. They know this is what you want. But they keep you in a cyclical thing, okay? They keep you wrapped up. Let's see. Let's, uh... Yes, you surrender chasing this person because even when you chase, you feel alone. They're not giving you that relationship or commitment that you want. Yeah, so you want to take a pause, a break. This person could be well off. Yeah, you're starting to see things from a certain perception and you see that you are now settling with this person. Uh, yeah, you're looking at things from different angles. You're seeing the red flags. You're seeing the denial, the delusion, okay? You're seeing the false, you know, your own false beliefs where you can steady perpetuate a situation where this person could be highly intelligent because that just came out like it just flew out. They might be good with words or articulation. Because in the last reading, I couldn't even formulate a goddamn sentence, and now it's just like spilling out. They might be very good with the gift of gab. They might be a finesser or a charmer, okay? Um, but now you're looking at things for di from different perceptions, and you see you settling. You realize that somebody's been blowing smoke up your ass. Maybe when you complain and you put the blame on them, they get guilty. They might give you money, okay? You can have a child with this person, all right? But somebody is saying, fuck it. They want to rebel because fuck it. Somebody could be saying, fuck this, like... Yeah, your body is pissed at you. Go the fuck outside. Move your ass. So some people might want to move. Get away from this person. It could be an argument where you need to get the fuck outside. You could be kicking somebody out. Uh, we also I'm recording. Is that you, Kishana? Mommy, I want a hug. Oh, wow. Dita wants a hug. Didn't I tell you guys I was recording? Yeah, just wait a minute. Sissy will be here in five to ten minutes. Okay. Okay? And then I can... Okay, you guys. Let me just pause this. She want a mother-daughter love moment. Gotta give her a hug. Okay, have to take care of the bambinos. They just randomly want to give me hugs. They just be nosy. What you doing? I want to hug my love. You want to tell you I love you. Go. Get on. <laughs> so I have to show them the love. You never know how, you know, long I'll be here. My babies be here. I got to show the love while I'm here. Gets irritating sometimes, but I love them. Um, but yeah, we have the perception and the settling. Like I said, you're looking at it from different angles. Not just what the fuck they've been telling you. Okay. It's like that thing where my mom always say, don't piss on me and tell me it's rain. So it's some other person been trying to piss on you. I hope nobody's pissing on anybody during sex. Somebody could be kinky. I don't know where it came from. But don't let nobody piss on you and tell you it's rain, okay? You realize now, looking at it from a different angle and not just going off their words, that you're settling. Mm -hmm. Because it's not what you want, okay? You love this person. You could like this person. You like being around this person. But you feel like it's kind of like sex-based and shallow is what I'm hearing. So um, somebody could pause because now they see things in a different way. I love being criticized that no one ever keep that shit to yourself. So somebody could criticize someone a lot. Okay, somebody could call someone fat. That's not nice. Or make you feel bad or... Like, you know, we together, I mean, they could make you try to feel like you're 
gifted with, for being with them. What the fuck? Yeah, but you're rebelling, okay? You Because you're saying fuck it. And you're like, I don't care what your opinion is. Keep that shit to your damn self. You the one that's fucked up in this situation. Don't try to put no blame on you. Me. Mm-hmm. I'm tired of going with the flow. They try to make you feel like it's safe, but it's like they flirt. They keep it surface level. I can't feel safe and protected in this shit surface level. I don't know if you're just going to wake up and leave me and go have sex with somebody else and leave me in the dust. We have nothing solidified, okay? So I'm going to show We have nothing solidified. I don't know what that is. Um, okay, so some of you guys could be the privileged lady. Yeah, somebody is getting the fuck out of there because they see they could see you as they're above you or you should be grateful to be with them or for the ones that supplies for. It's not going to be for everybody. And if it does not hit for you, there are 999,000 other readers out there. Carry on. Come back next week. But for the ones I'm talking to, you could be a privileged lady or a privileged man. And you getting the fuck out of Dodge. You, you going on your own journey. You might be healing. And it's like... My life is my journey, and this is just keeping me stagnant. It's 3D. It's not as shallow. I feel like somebody's demanding, and like we're not even together for real. Like, how could you be so demanding? They might want girlfriend or boyfriend benefits with for with with you, but they want to be a fuckboy or girl. They want you to have boyfriend or girlfriend benefits towards them, but they want to treat. They want to be a fuckboy or a fuck girl to you. Like that ain't gonna work. Um, so yeah, it's just, you like, this shit is just a never ending story. Somebody's choosing a new direction. They're journeying off. Okay. So, and, and at the least you want to, uh, step back, you know, step back, not, not putting in action in it. Like, it's like, you know what? I'm not giving to this shit no more. This shit is for the birds. That's what my mom would say. This is for the birds, baby. My mama had all the good slangs. Yeah, change. Somebody wants to change. Journey. This clarified the privileged lady in journey. Change. Somebody could be getting rid of a lady. Oh, shit. Oh, I thought that was my laptop. It was my charger. I'm going to say, oh, shit, my laptop. Please don't hit the flow. Um, yeah, somebody feels, somebody could feel privileged. Like, this could be a privileged man, a female. Like, uh, you know, you like, you know what? I put you on a pedestal. You ain't all that. Somebody could be telling somebody you ain't all that. Okay, somebody wants a change. Something needs to change. Somebody could be giving out ultimatums, but I feel like you damn near ready to leave this shit where it's at. Yeah, you refuse to settle, or you realize that you've settled this whole time. Like they, are, like I said, I feel like they're a good finesser, you know. And you come to realize that you settle. Like, maybe they're not up to par with you. You know what I mean? Maybe they're, you know, all they shit ain't together. And you never really exposed them because you cared about them. But you might have to tell somebody that they act like they shit don't stink, as my mama would say. Okay? Don't, I'm hearing um, Andre 3000 roses really smell like boo, ooh, ooh, boo, boo, boo. So it's like this person might look good, but they shit fucked up too. Or they not perfect. Or they as a narcissist. Or they think they all that and they the fuck not. Okay? You might have to check somebody. Ooh, ooh, child. Don't read them, Leo. Don't read them too hot. <laughs> you might have to read somebody. Look, you know, I was kind of settling with your ass, too. You ain't all that either, bro. Or sis. <laughs> I'm just feeling that type of energy from you guys. We're going to pull a little tarot and see if we can get some specifics. Yeah, somebody ain't all that. You might have to check their ass. See, they might uh, put a lot on you, a lot of demands, and it's like you did it out of love, but now it's like... Motherfucker feel like you obligated to do some shit. And baby, bye. We got three of cups. There'll be some third party shit going on. I don't know yet, but it'll be third parties, reunions, parties. We'll see. Make sure you guys hit that like, share, subscribe, hit that bell so you know when I'm dropping another video for you guys. Or any video at all for that matter. Yet, yeah, Leo, you just fell out the deck. Page of Wands. You guys could be dealing with another Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. This person could be younger than you. You could be younger than them. Yeah, you want to end something? Yeah, because when I see this, I see this like, oh, it's just a toss-up. You know, wherever the cars land, they could say stuff like this. Go with the flow. Whatever the, this person's favorite line could be, just go with the flow. Just let it be organic. Now, that is fine. Like me, I'm the type of person, I'm all about organic. You know what I mean? Let's let's see if we vibe yet or whatever. But once we feel like we vibing, where the fuck are we going? Okay. The go with the flow is for the early stages. Not we shouldn't be going with the flow a year motherfucking later, because we didn't flowed all that we can flow. 
I mean, if we float any more, bitch, we're going to be at the edge of the earth. Where we going? Okay? So, it's like somebody just leaves something as a toss-up and let the cards fly what they may, where they may. Somebody want to put a death to this. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Scorpio. If somebody wants to redo, like, nah, folks, we got to reevaluate, reassess. Where are we going? What are we doing? Yeah, it could be a, a Pisces, Scorpio, or a um, Cancer. Yeah, somebody could be throwing their hands up to a situation. I've been seeing this card like the last few day, the, the last couple of days I've been doing readings. I've been seeing it as surrendering, giving something up, taking your hands off of a situation. Three of Cups. Let's clarify the Three of Cups. Somebody could have a back tattoo. Like maybe circles on their back or some type of tribal art on their back. Seven of Wands, yeah. Okay, so it could be a person that deals with multiple people, but it's like you're the main one. They see you as you could give this person peace, balance, okay? Somebody could be a yoga instructor, a um, gym, uh, what do you call that, personal trainer? Yep. Yep, yeah, somebody found something out, something clicked. Yeah, it clicked that this person was giving you the bare minimum, or it clicked that this person was giving you half-assed energy, okay? Yeah, a lot of page energy, like something stays in the beginning stages all the time. Like, any of you guys deal with each other forever, it's like it never left, like, the first date-like syndrome. I, I, I say that to people, I, I don't know if people call it this, but I call it the first date syndrome, where you're, like, in the first date energy for years or months, like, the fuck... Figure it out, okay? So we have the uh, four of wands and two of pentacles. Somebody could be trying to make a choice about where they want to move, where they want to go. Somebody could send you a message. Yeah, somebody wants stability. And it's like, what are you going to choose? Somebody could be giving somebody an ultimatum for sure. Them or me, it or me, uh, or even if it's just you. It's like, where are we going? Okay, yeah, the world. You want to close up that cycle and you want a whole new author, Ace of Cups. It's like when you take your hands off of it, they might offer now. But no, I also see it as that you want to keep your emotions steady. So this kind of throws your emotions off. So you want to close up this cycle. I don't know if you want to close it up with them completely because a cycle and and ending it with a person is two different things. Closing a cycle is like, I'm not allowing you to do this anymore, whatever. You need to move forward into a new energy. You could be moving into an energy and still closing a cycle. But I feel like, yeah, you want to close a cycle and you want a new offer. You want something new. Revamped is what I'm hearing. With certain stipulations. Yeah, you want to find a defined line of where this is and where it's going. Somebody could also want a commitment. Somebody could be giving ultimatums while the other person wants to throw the cards up, see where they land, go with the flow. Whatever. <laughs> Look, like, somebody could be saying whatever. Like, I don't have time for this. You're childish. Yeah, this person is always hesitating to make a move. It's like, what? Let's get it. <laughs> what are we waiting for? What are this person's intentions towards Leo? What are this person's intentions towards Leo? Queen of Swords. Yeah, keeping things logical. Keeping them... Uh, Mm-hmm. Knight of Swords, like, they run off. They can become distant or not talk at all at times. When they leave, they got to run off and run errands, run off and do something. They're always on the go. This person could drive a motorcycle. I'm hearing this person could be a cook. A radiologist. This is, I'm hearing all that shit. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, somebody's... And then you're, you're in your... Okay. This person, it burdens the connection because they're always running off, doing something, going somewhere else. Somebody could literally get messages and then leave, or their phone get blows up, blowed up, and then they leave, and you like, man, this shit. But it's burdensome. Yeah, they could leave you in times of dire need. Like, when you really need this person, they might not be there. Because you see how this person is running off to their motorcycle, and then this person is left with like all the baggage. The somebody could just uh, somebody also could have just bailed out of an apartment or a home and left you to do the moving and figuring it out. They were like, just fuck this. And then somebody's like, I'm not gonna get this shit. I'm gonna get this shit when pigs fucking fly. Somebody's being logical now. Now they see as uh, obtaining this is like pigs flying. It's not gonna happen. Fuck it. Somebody's saying fuck it. 
Ooh, child. Um, I feel like I need to pull. Um, we're gonna pull on something with go go with the flow card. Let's pull one more on that. Y'all got a special reading today. I was not doing readings. Y'all know I haven't been doing readings this long, but this message needed to get out. Yeah, see, accept disappointments gracefully. You're accepting that this person is not matching up. Ooh, is not matching up to the energy that you want. So don't flip out. Don't get mad. This person still don't step up. You got your answer. You done with going with the flow. All right. I think I'm gonna name you name the video that. Tired of going with the flow. All right. I love you guys. If you want a personal reading, reach out to me at. Uh, I'm going to save a newsy score of old channel. Reach out to me at mrsdivinity at gmail.com for the in-depth readings. Reach out to me on Wizio if you want something quick and cheaper. All that information will be in the description box below. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell so you know when I'm dropping another video. And also, donations can go to my cash app, Miss Divinity. I love you, and until next time, bye-bye.